Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. Hurricane Lee is already starting to affect the coastline. We've got eye candy from the James Webb Space Telescope, Sentinel's look at the Morocco quake deformation, and Dr. Roy Spencer on the climate. To begin, let's jump back to yesterday's filament release and long-duration flare that we had said may have produced an Earth-directed CME. The Enlil Spiral is now updated to show Earth in the line of the outer edge of the eruption for a glancing blow that would likely be taking place tomorrow night. We may actually have more on the way, but we'll have to wait for updated coronagraph images. The dead center active region produced a couple M-class solar flares, and just a few hours ago, a filament destabilized south of it, perhaps triggering another small CME. While we wait for more information on that one, we're eyeing the sunspots and the massive plasma filament facing Earth. Let's hope this monster plasma structure does not erupt today. Let's go next to the hurricane. Lee is charging northward, but its outermost clouds and rain are already reaching the coastline. Going to be a rough couple of days for this eastern tip of North America here. Eyes open and best wishes to those in the forecast track. Let's get a bit of eye candy here. James Webb scope baby star jets as stellar ignition lights up inside a cocoon of gas and dust. They call these Herbig Harrow objects, which is a silly, nondescript name. Baby star nova is more like it. Up next, let's go to Morocco, where Sentinel has mapped the ground deformation resulting from the big earthquake that hit the region last week. You can see some areas moved up or down by several meters. That one is linked below. But the top article today comes from Dr. Roy Spencer. He may now be retired from his NASA climate duties, but his blog is as alive as ever. Excellent story on a critical, fundamental flaw in climate models with all the backup and explanations you could ask for. One of the best players in the battle for truth in this geophysics subfield. Folks, below the video, you can grab tickets to the next Observer event. It will be Saturday the 23rd, eight days from now, here in Colorado Springs. It's a family-friendly event, and we look forward to seeing many of you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. Links are found below the video in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.